Let me show you how to paint a cute fireplace scene today. Take your mop brush with some background colors. I'm using light green and tan and do up and down strokes all the way across. Then make sure that's dry and pick a color for your floor. I'm going to use a light tan as well. Do back and forth strokes there for the floor. And then on top of that floor part, I'm going to take a round brush and make a large rectangle. I am using red because I want that to be the color of my brick fireplace and fill that in. Perfect. Dry that and then I'm going to use some black and a round brush as well to make an opening for the fire. I'm just going to do a curved shape and fill that in right in the middle. And then I'm going to grab a flat brush. Now I'm going to use dark red, white, and black for the shades in my brick. You could use whatever color combination you want. I know bricks usually have all different shades. But look what I'm doing. I just dipped into those colors and I'm letting them blend naturally as I do horizontal strokes all the way across the fireplace. The width of your brush is going to be the width of your brick. This is an easy way to do a brick layout without doing too much detail. I'm going to do these horizontal lines as evenly as possible all the way down both sides. Make sure you try to line them up on the left and the right side of that opening. And you know how bricks sometimes have decorative outlining? I'm going to, once I do all these horizontal lines, do an outline on that opening with the same width with the brush as well. Something like that. Now to do the grout in between, I'm going to take a detail brush and some black. You could use tan or a different color. They have all different color grouts these days. But I outlined between each of those lines and around that line across where the fire is going to be. And I'm going to start laying the brick pattern. So for around the opening, I'm just going to do evenly spaced lines. And then for the actual brick part of the fireplace, look what I'm going to do. Decide how wide you want your bricks to be and start adding vertical lines and make sure you're spacing them out evenly. Look how I'm starting each line though. Each row, the line starts in between the row before it. That way your brick pattern alternates and makes it look like a naturally laid brick fireplace. If you have your own fireplace, you could look at that, for example, and see all the different kinds of patterns, but this is just a basic brick pattern. Do that all the way across those long rows and then down the short rows on the right side. And then I'm gonna use a size three round brush and take some dark brown. We're gonna place the mantle now. Just doing a long rectangle at the top and fill that in. That's going to be where the stockings are hanging from. But before we hang the stockings, let's add some fire. I'm taking that smaller round brush again. And I don't know if you saw my campfire painting, but we're going to do a very similar fire in the fireplace. I primed it with some white first. And then once that white is dry, you can use the colors of a fire. I'm using red, orange, and yellow to piece in some color. Design your fire however you want. I'm even going to add some white streaks. And I forgot some wood, so let's add a little bit of brown at the bottom. There. So let's decorate the mantle now. So taking a round brush, I'm just doing a little bit of black at the very top. And I added some hooks because we're going to hang our stockings now. Here's a basic stocking shape. Taking my round brush, I'm going to start with white again so we can make them whatever color we want. Do a curved rectangle that's tilted to the left and then add a C shape coming off of it. See, there's the curved rectangle and then add that C coming off at the bottom. I did four stockings. And then the reason why we did them white is because you can fill them in with whatever color you want then. Acrylic craft paint like I'm using is a little thin, so you may need to do two coats. But once you get the coat on that you want, I did four different colors, you can decorate them. I'm using a detail brush. I'm gonna do some crazy different patterns. They have all different kinds of stockings in the store. I even saw a mermaid tail the other day with sequins. So do whatever you want. You can do little X's, you can do just streaks of color, you could do polka dots, or you can make it look like an actual sock or stocking. Look at your stocking and you can base it off of what you have hanging in your house right now. Have fun with it and remember to make it your own. This painting in particular, you could really go all out with detail. I'm going to outline my stockings with a little bit of white to help them stand out. But no matter what pattern you use, I'm going to use a little stencil brush. You could also use a fine sea sponge and add some fluff. No matter what, make sure your stockings have fluff at the top because that's what makes it look like a stocking. Look at that. Aren't those so cute? They're ready to stuff. 
And once you get those hanging, add some Christmas decorations. I'm gonna add some ribbon here with my detail brush, a little bit of red and black with swirly lines. Why don't we add a candle? Be careful decorating with candles. I heard they can cause a lot of house fires. They used to even put them on Christmas trees instead of Christmas lights. I'm gonna add some little ornaments on the mantle as well. What do you put on the mantle? Sometimes I put Christmas cards. In fact, by the end of Christmas, we usually have our mantle full of Christmas cards, which is really cool. Let's add another ornament, maybe some Christmas lights too. I just got some really cool LED string lights and they're all across our fireplace right now. So I'm add those in. And we can even use our stencil brush and some green paint. Let's hang some garland. That's going to frame our eye down towards the fireplace a little bit. I'm going to shade it with a little bit of dark green, just bouncing. See how I'm doing like little U shapes to make it look like it's hanging on nails. And then you can decorate. I'm gonna do the same bow I did on the Christmas truck wreath. Maybe this is this guy's house. Whoever was driving home the Christmas tree, maybe this is their fireplace. Do two little bunny ears on a circle and then add some highlights, two little tails. And then you can hang some ornaments on there as well. Have fun with it. I'm just going to do some red and blue circles, trying to tie in some of the colors from the fireplace. There we go. How about some little yellow dots with your detail brush to make them look like lights? Do yellow and white all the way across. Don't forget some white little shines. And I added a grate, this is totally optional, just two big U's and some vertical lines going across, that way nobody can get into the fire, however you wanna do it. And there we go. Have fun with this one, really make it your own. Let me know if you have a special kind of stocking and if you like this tutorial, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Happy painting.